Something extraordinary is happening on the world's oceans that will forever change how we move goods and project presence across the planet. Can you imagine ships so massive they dwarf entire city blocks, yet move with the precision of a Swiss watch? Well, China has just achieved it. While some countries are still using vessels from decades ago, China has created floating machines that seem straight out of science fiction. From container ships that carry entire shopping malls to vessels that can harvest minerals from depths no human could survive. Today, I'm going to show you the 10 most impressive Chinese ships commanding the seas. Stay until the end because what you'll see at number 1 will undoubtedly leave you speechless. We start with number 10, something that has completely changed the rules of global trade. The Costco shipping universe reaches a cargo capacity of 21,237 containers, a number that makes traditional cargo ships seem tiny by comparison. To give you an idea, this floating warehouse stretches 1,312 feet long longer than the height of the Empire State Building. This monster was built in 2018, and it's completely revolutionizing how products reach your home. How is such capacity possible? The key lies in advanced computer systems that calculate the perfect weight distribution across thousands of containers. Each container is positioned with mathematical precision, allowing the ship to carry what would require a four seven mile long freight train to transport on land. It's like a perfectly balanced Tetris game, except each piece weighs tons and the stakes are millions of dollars. But what's truly impressive isn't just the size, it's the efficiency. Costco operates over 450 ports worldwide, creating a shipping network that touches 160 countries. The result is striking. Every iPhone in your pocket, every pair of Nike sneakers on your feet, there's a high probability it traveled on a Costco ship. With operations on more than 320 international routes, this technological marvel is proving that the future of global trade speaks with a Chinese accent. In ninth place, we have something truly impressive. The Hongqi Gang is the machine that proved China could master the art of bulk transportation at unprecedented scales. This Velamax-class giant reaches 1,188 feet in length with a cargo capacity of 400,000 deadweight tons, a number that left engineers around the world speechless when it was launched in 2021. Its performance is revolutionary. One single voyage carries enough raw material to manufacture 50,000 cars or provide steel for 15 skyscrapers. But what's truly crazy about this ship isn't its top capacity, but its efficiency. Traditional shipping would require multiple smaller vessels, burning far more fuel and taking much longer to complete the same delivery. The secret lies in its advanced hull design that cuts through waves with minimal resistance. The vessel uses a sophisticated ballast system that maintains perfect stability even when carrying mountains of iron ore from Brazilian mines to Chinese factories. What's most impressive is its economies of scale. It saves shipping companies $3 million per voyage compared to using conventional methods. China created a practically unstoppable machine capable of feeding its industrial appetite with a level of efficiency that other countries consider impossible for bulk transportation. When fully loaded, this Titan draws 75 feet below the waterline, requiring specially designed ports that only a handful of locations worldwide possess. At number 8, we have something that marked a before and after in polar exploration. The Shui Long II, or Snow Dragon II, was the first icebreaker built completely with innovative Chinese technology. While previous icebreakers could only break ice in one direction, this 402-foot monster can smash through 5 feet of solid ice, going both forwards and backwards, something you'd never expect to be possible. Its most striking feature is something that seems impossible in a vessel designed for extreme conditions. It's practically unstoppable in polar ice. While other icebreakers get trapped in tight channels, the Shui Long II can maneuver like a dancer, pivoting and breaking ice in any direction. Its dual direction capability isn't just Chinese innovation, it's pure engineering genius applied to perfection. Inside this polar beast, you'll find eight sophisticated scientific laboratories and accommodations for 90 crew members plus 20 scientists. Chinese engineers achieved something that seemed impossible, combining extreme icebreaking power with total self-sufficiency. With a range of 17,300 miles without refueling, this vessel can operate independently for months in conditions as brutal as negative 22 degrees Fahrenheit. The Shui Long II announced the arrival of China's golden age of polar exploration, proving that Chinese vessels can now reach any corner of the planet, no matter how frozen or remote. Lucky number seven takes us to something completely different, the CNOOC 981. China's first domestically built ultra deep water drilling platform, and it's a technological marvel that completely redefined what's possible in offshore engineering. 
This billion dollar floating structure stands 374 by 292 feet and weighs 31,000 tons, essentially a 20-story building that floats in the middle of the ocean. But its true power isn't just in its size, but in something no other Chinese platform had achieved before. Its drilling capability is absolutely extraordinary. The Sinoke 981 can operate in water depths of 9,840 feet and drill another 33,000 feet into the seabed. That's a total depth of over 8 miles greater than Mount Everest's height, reaching geological formations that contain millions of barrels of energy resources. To put this in perspective, this platform can drill deeper than any mountain is tall, all while floating on waves. But here's what's most impressive. It's designed to withstand Category 5 hurricanes with waves exceeding 100 feet. The engineering required to create a stable drilling platform in such extreme conditions is mind-boggling. This vessel can accommodate over 200 workers in conditions that would destroy conventional drilling rigs, using advanced stabilization systems that keep operations running even during storms. The Sea Noke 981 showed the world that China no longer needed foreign technology, it could engineer the impossible on its own. If you're amazed by these engineering marvels so far, wait until you see what's coming next. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss the remaining top three ships that are even more impressive. Hit that subscribe button now. Sliding into number six, we enter something that sounds like pure science fiction, but is absolutely real. The Daiyang Hao is China's revolutionary deep sea mining research vessel, and it's already achieving what other nations are still debating. Built in 2021, this 374-foot technological marvel can deploy sophisticated remotely operated vehicles to depths of 36,000 feet deep enough to reach the Mariana Trench, Earth's deepest point nearly seven miles down. How is such depth possible? The key is that the underwater robots never need to surface for maintenance. They use AI-controlled systems that can work in crushing pressure environments where humans could never survive. By operating continuously at extreme depths, these machines can harvest mineral deposits that formed over millions of years. It's like having tireless miners working in conditions that would instantly crush any traditional equipment. But the real innovation lies in its efficiency. The ocean floor contains rare earth minerals, cobalt, nickel, and manganese nodules that are absolutely critical for manufacturing smartphones and electric vehicle batteries. What's revolutionary is that this vessel has turned theoretical deep-sea mining into practical reality. The Dai Yang Hao operates with precision that seemed impossible just years ago, using advanced sensors and AI to identify and extract valuable minerals while minimizing waste. China isn't just researching underwater mining, it's perfecting a technology that will power the electronics of tomorrow. Halfway through our countdown at number 5, we have the Haiyang Shi Yu 982, a semi-submersible crane vessel with lifting capacity that seems to defy the laws of physics. This beast reaches a lifting capacity of 12,000 tons using dual cranes that work in perfect synchronization. Built in 2017, this 974 foot long platform combines power with precision in ways that leave engineers speechless. To give you an idea, imagine lifting 80 fully loaded Boeing 747 jumbo jets simultaneously. That's what this floating crane accomplishes. But raw power means nothing without precision, and here's where the engineering becomes truly impressive. The Haiyang Shi Yu 982 can position massive structures with accuracy within three, feet while floating in open ocean conditions. Its advanced stabilization system uses thousands of sensors that constantly monitor wave patterns, wind conditions, and structural stress. The result is striking. This vessel can install offshore oil platforms in 10,000 foot deep waters and position enormous wind turbines with surgical precision. What's most impressive is its versatility. It's already built over 50 offshore platforms and continues working around the clock on China's ambitious renewable energy projects. Chinese engineers took crane technology to obsessive levels of perfection, creating a machine that can construct infrastructure in ocean conditions that would defeat any land-based equipment. This is floating construction power redefined for the 21st century. At number four, we reach something extraordinary in naval engineering, the Type 003 Fujian aircraft carrier, and it's completely changing what Chinese naval power looks like. Launched in 2022, this 1,037-foot supercarrier displaces between 80,000 and 85,000 tons, making it comparable in size to America's largest military vessels. But its true innovation isn't in size, it's in revolutionary technology that only the most advanced navies possess. 
What makes the Fujian unique is its electromagnetic aircraft launch system, the same cutting-edge catapult technology that seemed impossible for China to develop independently just a decade ago. This allows launching heavier aircraft, carrying more weapons and fuel, dramatically extending operational capabilities. It's like having a floating airport that can project air power thousands of miles from home. The flight deck can accommodate 50 to 60 aircraft, including advanced fighters, while the electromagnetic system enables aircraft launches every 30 seconds during operations, a rate that traditional steam catapults could never achieve. Chinese engineers achieved something remarkable. They've gone from having zero carriers in 2012 to operating three carriers today, with more under construction. The construction uses ultra-advanced materials and automation systems that significantly reduce crew requirements compared to older designs. Although it lacks nuclear propulsion, the Fujian demonstrates that China has mastered the complex engineering required for modern supercarrier operations. Bronze medal position at number three goes to another Costco masterpiece, but this one is completely rewriting the physics of container transportation. The Costco Shipping Galaxy represents the Megamax 2-4 class, the absolute cutting edge of cargo vessel design. Built in 2021, this vessel reaches a cargo capacity of 23,000 20-foot equivalent containers, a number that makes previous container ships look like tugboats. Its engineering is extraordinary. At 1,312 feet long, just under a quarter mile, and precisely calculated to fit through major canals, this vessel can stack containers as high as 25 layers, creating walls of cargo that tower 246 feet above the waterline. To put this in perspective, that's taller than a 20-story building, except it's moving across the ocean at 23 miles per hour. But here's what's truly revolutionary. Despite its massive size, a crew of just 22 people operates the entire ship using advanced automation systems. The vessel's 107,000 horsepower engines propel this giant through any ocean, yet, incredibly, it's more fuel-efficient per container than smaller vessels. Its whole design uses computational fluid dynamics that were impossible to calculate just years ago, reducing drag and fuel consumption to levels that seemed unreachable. What's most impressive is that one ship can carry enough cargo to fill 80,000 shopping carts or stock 4,000 Walmart stores. China didn't just build bigger ships, they perfected the art of maritime efficiency at scales that redefine global logistics. Taking the silver medal at number two, we have something you've probably never heard of, but have definitely seen the results of the Zhenhua 30, operated by Shanghai Zhenhua Heavy Industries. This 679-foot floating crane with a 285-foot beam possesses lifting capacity of 12,000 tons, but its real achievement lies in precision engineering that seems impossible. What makes the Zhenhua 30 truly special is its ability to position massive structures in the middle of ocean currents, typhoon risks, and complex tidal patterns with accuracy measured in inches. This vessel was absolutely crucial in constructing the Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge, the world's longest sea crossing bridge, where it precisely positioned 33 massive bridge sections weighing thousands of tons each. Its stabilization technology is mind boggling. Using dynamic positioning systems with multiple thrusters, the vessel can maintain its exact position for hours during critical lifting operations, fighting against wind and current that would move conventional ships hundreds of yards off target. ZPMC, the company. Operating this vessel manufactures over 70% of the world's port cranes and has become essential to infrastructure projects spanning six continents. Whether installing offshore platforms, placing wind turbines, or constructing bridges in open water, this vessel enables projects that would take decades using conventional methods. The Zhenhua 30 proves that China has mastered the art of precision, heavy lifting in environments where others simply cannot operate. In claiming the top spot, we arrive at something that sounds like pure science fiction but is absolutely real. China's floating nuclear power plants, based on the Linglong One Small Modular Reactor technology, and they're completely revolutionizing what's possible with mobile energy generation. These vessels represent the most innovative maritime concept in decades, combining naval engineering with nuclear power generation in ways that seemed impossible until now. How does floating nuclear power work? The key is, advanced small modular reactors that are far safer and more compact than traditional nuclear plants. These floating power stations can generate 125 megawatts of electricity, enough to power 150,000 homes while operating for years without refueling, completely independent of land-based infrastructure. It's like having a portable city power grid that can move anywhere across the ocean. But here's what makes this truly revolutionary. 
These vessels can provide electricity to remote islands, offshore drilling platforms, and coastal developments thousands of miles from traditional power grids. The engineering required to make nuclear reactors safe and stable on floating platforms is extraordinarily complex, involving advanced cooling systems, multiple redundant safety features, and stabilization technology that maintains reactor safety even in rough seas. What's most impressive is the strategic flexibility these floating reactors can support development in locations where building, traditional power infrastructure would be impossibly expensive or technically unfeasible. China isn't just building ships, it's creating mobile infrastructure that completely redefines how we think about energy generation and distribution. This is maritime innovation at its absolute peak. From container megaships to aircraft carriers, from deep sea miners to floating nuclear plants, we've explored 10 Chinese vessels that prove maritime engineering has reached incredible new heights. Which ship impressed you the most? The 23,000 container giant or the floating nuclear reactor rewriting energy distribution? Let me know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe for more content like this.